Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You know, I've been thinking about it all day doing your reading because I was behind, right? I was behind doing it. I was like, I gotta get it done, I gotta get it done, I gotta get it done. And there's a reason why things don't get done because t everything happens at the right time. I feel as though you guys must be looking for an empress. Or something. If you are the male watching this, you might, you are, you are. There's something about an empress here, okay? Um, you may have your eye on one, and maybe something is going on because it feels like you are approaching an empress. So, if you are the feminine watching this, this could be your energy. It could be, or it could be your partner that is approaching an empress, okay? Because I see it strongly. I was, I was thinking about Scorpio several times today obviously uh, all of a, out of the blue you know I knew that the reading was due it was time but I also you know there's another reason but anyhow it, it it was very interesting so it comes out of nowhere there's something about an empress okay so what do we have for Scorpio about love unconditional love may have something to do with a mother mother's love or something like that doesn't have to be unconditional love is what the empress is I mean, you must be looking for unconditional love there is some sort of protection here i know that it is we have a lot of planetary things going on but when you get four four is universal protection and it could be and if somebody has passed away it could be your mother or a motherly figure, or grandmother, or something like that. Anyhow, let's see what we have for Scorpio. Scales. Keep your life in balance. So this is going to be a week of restoring balance in your life. And if you think about the Empress, the Empress is, you know, is ruled by Taurus, but also by Libra. So there's something definitely to do with, with balance and Venus, you know, unconditional love this week. Um, ah, May. You know, I really feel like, you know, and, and if you think about a Taurus, a Taurus is an empress born in May. So it's interesting. Um, May, something about the month of May. Horseshoe. Good luck. Bird flying. News is on the way. So you're going to get some news this week. Yeah, I feel like it's good news. You know, according to some of the astrologers that I've been listening to, you know, in posts that I've seen on Facebook, everybody's predicting bad things for Scorpio. But whatever is happening, even if it is bad, it's, it's about restoring balance in your life. Balance is needed. So this is for the week of October 18th through the 26th for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. There is some news that is coming. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's some somebody could be born in May. Something could be happening in May. Something to do with the month of May. It could be dealing, I feel like you're dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. The way I feel. Anyhow, so what do we have? What do we, what do we have for Scorpio? Letting go of something. Letting go of a burden. Dropping a burden. Dropping weight. Dropping baggage. Balance. Balance is waiting. Your balance. As soon as you drop out, or something like that. Uh, balance is restored. So balance is waiting, okay? Your balance is waiting. Um, with the ten of, ten of Wands reverse. This is freeing yourself, making a conscious change. This is letting something go that has been weighing you down. Unrequited love situation, loveless situation, or not looking for love. Maybe you weren't looking for love. Who knows? Maybe you weren't communicating. Uh, page of Cups Reverse. Letting go of an unrequited love situation. Now, this is some sort of sad situation with the Page of Cups Reverse. There's there's shattered dreams. There's This is somebody's bubble being burst. This is a rejection. It's tears. 
Um, but it leads to happiness because this is an opportunity for a new life. This is a new beginning. This is a breakthrough. Um, so letting go leads to a new beginning. So you're and I feel like it's bittersweet though because it is. It definitely is. So you are letting go of something or somebody is letting go of you. Now, we have child here a couple times, so I'm not sure if if if, if it, we have something to do with a child here. Um we do have a new beginning though. This is extreme happiness as soon as you let go of something. And this, you know, some of you may have not been, you know, looking for anything, but here it is, which is kind of interesting. Hmm. Sun. The sun is freedom. This is, these are both cards of freedom. You're free from something that you don't love. King of Cups reversed. Nine of Pentacles. So Nine of Pentacles is somebody that is very self-sufficient. Um, this is this is the storm is over. This is things starting to get better. Uh, being very comfortable with your life, enjoying life again, independent. Somebody may be letting go of their independence, or they may be becoming independent because this is a change. In either way, okay, either way that you see it. I feel like there's a withdrawal of love, though. You know what I mean? A withdrawal of emotion. I feel like you're going to be emotional this week as well. You may want to seclude yourself. You may you may want to hide, you know, withdraw, not really communicate. I feel like what's ha you may want to be alone this week. You're feeling weighed down and you need to you need to drop something and I feel like it's really affecting you. It's affecting your emotions, so I think that you're gonna be very emotional. Uh now this is this is somebody that is very comfortable, very uh set. So you may be uh dealing with a person that is I mean this is a business owner. Uh, somebody that is very self-sufficient, has a lot to offer, has, is, this is the whole package right here. This could be you as well. Now this King of Cups in reverse, that is emotional withdrawal. Closed off, non-communicative, non don't want to communicate. There's lack of communication here. Somebody isn't wanting to communicate. Keeping secrets. Very emotional. Maybe you're emotional, and I'm not sure if there's something to do with a child here that is affecting you. Very interesting. But anyway, we do have a new beginning, so that is very positive. This is very positive. So there's a positive change that is coming for you in the future, around the corner. But right now, you have to work on building yourself up and being strong. Okay, this is somebody that, you know, has to find the strength and the perseverance to pick themselves up and hold their head up high. So you're going to have to hold your head up high. I'm not sure what is going on, but I feel like you're very overwhelmed. You're going to be very overwhelmed this week. Okay overwhelmed over you know whatever load it is that you're carrying it feels like you have a lot of burden that you're carrying your or baggage from the past or something that you're holding on to uh, so yeah I feel like this week it's going to be an emotional week it may have something to do with a father or a mother um I feel like I feel like there's some sort of situation that you're in you may want to uh, break free from it because I feel like whoever you're dealing with may be very secretive, may not have good intentions with you. It may make you sad that you have to break free from this person. Uh, could be Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Pisces here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could also be dealing with a Leo. I feel like, uh, 
It feels like you may be dealing with somebody who always wants to punish you. Okay? I feel like this person is obsessed with control. They are very egotistical. They fight a lot. They won't change. And I feel like you're struggling to let go of this person because you have feelings for this person. But you need to. This person is uh, obsessed with something. I feel like you're wasting your time. You're sacrificing yourself when you have another opportunity here. It feels like you have to let go of whoever it is that you are wasting your time on. That you are sacrificing yourself for. It's like you're trying to prove something that you don't even need to prove Okay, you don't need to prove it. Um, you're up against somebody who is heartless by the looks of things. This person is heartless. They're cold. They lack emotion. So I feel like it's time for you to go your own way. You need to, you need to find your strength and your uh, confidence and your willpower and your strength it's just pretty much strength you need to find your strength to depart go your own way let this person go it feels like you've been holding on trying to prove yourself both these cards are proving you've been trying to prove yourself to somebody stop stop just stop trying to prove yourself you're worthy you're worthy you have enough skills to do your own thing you don't need to work for this person or you don't need to be around this person you can do your own thing Some of you, I'm going to change this up a little bit, may be single. You may be single. You may love it. You may, or some of you want to become single. You want to separate because that's an ending up there. You've been wasting your time. But anyway, some of you are already single and you may love it. You may love your independence. You know, you're enjoying your life. You're doing great. You're not willing to sacrifice. You're not willing to but you're not going to give up your independence for anybody but there's an opportunity here so there is so i feel like you know we have a couple of different scenarios right off the bat um ooh unexpected choice in love i knew it i knew it so you do. You have something that is coming in unexpectedly that can make you extremely happy with that sun card. But there's there's a feeling of I don't I don't want to get I don't want to get back into the battle again. I don't want to fight again. I don't I don't I don't trust this, you know. I feel like you have some sort of fear, you know. Um there's definitely an opportunity for an, a new partnership here. A new union that is very compatible. I think it is very sudden. It's yeah. I don't even think you're looking for it, and that's why this is what I see. I feel like you're not looking for. It. You have an opportunity to partner up with somebody, uh, but you may feel like a failure. You may feel like a failure. Maybe somebody that you were with was a narcissist, and they make you feel like a failure. Anyhow, um, I do see a new partnership for you. I think that this is a opportunity that you probably asked for but it's not what you expected and it's not the time that you expected um now a partnership doesn't have to be a love affair it can be a work because i mentioned work somebody may be asking you to come work for them or to to you know leave this behind and come you have skills come work for me or something like that if it's work related I think that you have been in a situation where you may have feel or f you may feel like you failed, but everything happens for a reason. If it didn't last or it didn't progress or if it wasn't successful, it didn't succeed for a reason. So this is lack of success. This lack of this lack of a successful partnership leads you towards the right partnership. So keep that in mind anyhow this is an unexpected choice in love okay uh i don't know maybe you're dealing with a gemini i'm not sure you could be dealing with a gemini but this is a you may have failed you may have failed something you may feel like a failure but this but this this fail is actually a win it's actually a win because now you are going to be much happier much, 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 much happier. Um, I feel like you are being aligned 
okay? You're being aligned with somebody that you are meant to work with or you are meant to be with. I feel like you're going to be needing to make a choice. You're, good, you're, you're going to be making a choice very, very soon. Um, now, the Lovers is a card of... Well, it's a healing love. It's something you didn't expect. This is a... It's almost like... You didn't expect to go down this path, but here you are. So that's that's what this is. Um, something about maybe you're maybe May is prominent. Maybe you you this whole thing starts up in the month of May. You know, maybe maybe you uh, come together with this person in union in May. Maybe the process, because this is a start, it starts now and the process, you know, falls into place in May. Um, you have a new beginning here, that's for damn sure. But that sun card, that is, that is a, that is a new day, it's a new beginning, this is a breakthrough, this is being, this is being accepted. This is a warm place, you may be moving to a warm place. This is happiness, being blessed, being blessed with a perfect match. So you may, and it feels like you weren't looking for it. So I feel like you are going to be, this is a connection. You're going to be connecting with somebody that, you know, you're going to work very, very, very well with. This person may be your opposite, your exact opposite. But opposites attract. Hard work. Work, 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 work. This will work out. It will. You're going to be working with some with a new partner by summer, by summertime, by this uh, upcoming summer. Well, I don't know where you live, but I would say between May and August. May, June, July, August. May, June, July, August. Okay, that's what I see. Between May and August. You're going to be working with somebody else. Right now, you're probably releasing. You're probably thinking a lot. You're doing, going through a period of thinking. You're letting go. You probably know you're going to be letting go. You're working on yourself. You're focusing on you. You're enjoying life. You're enjoying your independence. You're probably not looking for love. And, well, you know, love comes when you ain't looking. So... Or this new partnership comes when you're not looking. Be prepared. I feel like you are going to be communicating with somebody that uh, you totally did not expect. You're getting an, an offer, okay? This is a very good offer. A very, very, very... Or you're making the offer. That could certainly be the case. Because especially if you're dealing with an empress. If you're the man watching this and you are dealing with the empress, she's not making an offer. If you are the man watching this and you have a woman begging for your attention, she's not the empress. This is a woman of value. She knows her value. Anyhow, um, anyway... I feel as though um, this week, Scorpio, you are in the process of letting go of something. And maybe it's letting go of your independence, you know, or you're letting go of something you've been hanging on to. You've been trying to prove something. You're, it's like you're giving up. You know that you're going to, you know. This is a loss. It's not a win. The Six of Wands reversed. That is a loss. This loss allows you to work with somebody else that you are more compatible with. There's a lot of healing here. It's a healing energy with the Sun and the Lover's card. There's an opportunity to heal and work very nicely together with somebody. This is a week of, well, it's very positive, and you may not see it as positive. There's something that is happening that is very emotional to you, and you're going to be thinking a lot about it. It has to do with, with letting go of something 
It's it's very uh, emotional to you. You may even shed some tears. This is very, very, very emotional. I mean, and it could just be a job or independence or whatever. I mean, there is fear with doing stuff like that. But the Sun card is free. You're, and so is not the Ten of Wands reverse. And you're free. You're free to connect. You're free to go. You're free. Because this is a connection. You're free. This is a yes answer. Yes, this is the one. I don't know. So. There's growth here. There's an opportunity for growth. There's an opportunity for extreme happiness. But you have to. Uh, you may have to put in some sort of effort to accept, put in effort to accept that this may not be, you know, it may not be exactly what you thought. It may not have come at the right time. It, you know, it, it's not what you were shooting for, but it is, it's what the angels or God had in mind for you. You may be falling in love with somebody or starting the process because this is a new start. Unexpected choice in love comes out of nowhere. Maybe somebody that you work with that you meet through your job. You know, somebody comes to your work or something like that. Or you deliver something to this person. Um, that could be the case. And then you have to make a choice. This is a card of choice. It's also a card of consequences. I feel like this week you are going to be really uh, trapped in your thoughts. You're going to be in some sort of mental turmoil because going in this new direction forces you to open your eyes and see. It forces you to step outside of your comfort zone, to face your fears. And there's fear here. There is. So I think that you have been fearful. Somebody has been keeping you trapped. They've been keeping you tied down. They've been telling you, you got to do this, you got to do that. And it's something you don't want to do. You have an opportunity to be happy right now. But you're going to have to choose that option. I do believe you are going to be communicating with somebody this week. Probably right now. I think it happens very, 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 very suddenly. I feel like this person um, may be your good luck. Okay, this is your lucky break. This is what the universe or God or angels have in mind to bring balance back to your life. So be prepared to hear some news. It's it's totally not the news that you think. It's a complete unexpected, okay? This is not... It's, say you're watching this and you think that uh, your ex is going to message you. That's not it. This is not who you... This is not who you... This is somebody new, okay? This is somebody brand new. It is. It's a new connection. You are going to be developing a new connection with somebody this week. And it's at the very beginning stages. Good luck.